guys, uh, today we're going to be doing 10 things that I absolutely hate about primary school. I'm still in primary school, I've got uh, 5 more weeks left, so yeah, let's get started really. First of all, is that thing that they always do, good morning Mr. Whateverhead, good morning everyone. Why can't you just say it so quick, just like, good morning Mr. Whatever, good morning everyone. Because like, why do you have to say it so slow? Is it like tradition at school or something? Well, I don't bloody know, but stop it because it's seriously annoying. Number two is those hard chairs. How do you expect you to work on those like hard chairs? Most annoying is those like chairs with just the bottom and no lean. Because like, how are you meant to like do your work if you're not comfortable? And like, they've got little, those little like lumps on it. Which are like the lumpy and like plastic. Why can't we just get like a proper chair? Leather and everything and fluff. Then we'll do our work properly. There's that always that one teacher that has the most disgusting breath. We have one that's really bad, this dinner lady. So basically, whenever she like comes there she says, What do you want to do? You just like, um, like you just literally hold your breath while it's saying like, blood current please. <laughs> once, once you like uh, think that it's gone, you smell it, you just like, um, it's not nice. So yeah. I think we're on the third thing, no we're on the fourth thing. Fourth thing is, those baggy cardigans. They're just so annoying, just make them loose or they, at least let us wear a jumper. Like a proper jumper, not like one of those thin ones. You're just like, what the hell? They have like bloody tomatoes in them. It's not good to look like a tomato. The parents say, oh, you got away because it's school year five. Everybody wears them. <gasps> and everybody's so judging you, like flipping out. Nobody wears them. You don't even go to school, so how the bloody hell do you know? So, yeah. Number five. That teacher, you know when you do PA? And you're like wearing those thin tops, the shorts and the trainers and socks. And then there's this PE teacher wearing like 6,000 layers of coats. Big like uh, leggings or jeans on. Fluffy boots on, a bobble hat, a scarf. Got a cup of coffee. Basically. We're like saying, uh, like we're all cold. And she's saying, it's not cold at all. He's like, bloody hell, no wonder you got like 6,000 coats on. And it's like... Wear the thinnest shirts in school. You know, like, those treats what you get if a whole class brings their homework in. There's always this one person who never brings their homework in. I have this, and it's so annoying. It's like, you've ruined it all, because, like, we can't, like, bring our homework in. It's like, because normally you get Haribo's after, like a pack of Haribo's or something. He didn't bring it in. We never get them. We've only got them once when he wasn't there to give it in. And he didn't get nothing. So, yep. Number seven, that one teacher that you have. Like in year five, this was for me since I joined this school at year five. One teacher. This one bloody teacher that hated me so much. Now in year six, she blames me for everything. I'm not even involved. And she said, oh yeah, she probably did it. I'm like... I'm just like, bloody hell. Just find somebody else to pick on. My sister, because she's in your class now. So yeah, number eight. That one girl, one girl who thinks that she's so popular, she gets all the boys. You just like get over yourself. You just like. <laughs> I have this girl in my class. I'm not gonna say her name just in case. But um, she's always like feels like. Let's say she's gonna be your friend for a week. Then after she's like done, she's like. Oh no, I'm not your friend anymore. Because she knows that everybody will run back to her. That's why I stopped being a friend. <laughs> I'm just like judging everybody in my class. Number nine, that one teacher who was so sexist. Basically, I was with like in PE with my cl in my class with Paige. Me and my friend Amber got told off, so we had to like be like, on this thing. We were like practicing for a sport sports day. We we're throwing these balls, and um. Basically, Paige has to get a ball because uh, her partner didn't have the ball anymore. Picked up a ball. Mr. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he said that, um, oh, 
Paige, you can't have that ball because it's a boy's ball because it's too heavy for girl, little girls. You just like, success. Just success. So we gave her this like, really light ball and he was like, maybe you can hold this. He was like, what the hell? It's like, it's the same. Uh, he's so annoying. I'm glad he's not my teacher. Number 10, this used to happen at my old school, but whenever you didn't have your PE kit in, they would send you to lost property to get other people's clothes. You have no idea where the hell they've been, and it's smell absolutely disgusting to make you wear them. Obviously, I never did that, but I saw people like going past, and I asked them, like, why the hell are you going to lost property? Nobody ever goes to lost property. And I, like, well, a teacher said pick out some night like, PE clothes because she's been a rat. And, um,. Tell me to get them. I'm just like, run away, mate, because it's going to do you good. They absolutely reek. Went past one, like, you know how they're in those boxes? Went past one. <sighs> oh, it's the worst of the dinner lady's breath. But, anyways. And, um. Then, nobody ever wants to be your party because you smell that bad. Like. I won't be in the most part if they smell that bad. You know, I know I sound like a mean person right now, but to say you everything, would you really want to be somebody's PE party? Especially in gymnastics when you got like touching and everything, you're just like, mm -hmm, get away from me. So, so there you go guys, that was 10 uh, things I absolutely hate about primary school. Hope you enjoyed, can you leave a like and press that subscribe button and I'll see you later.